So if you know that you get, say, 100 visitors to your website, and of those, perhaps five might fill in a contact us form, and of those five, you're a little bit careful and you're persistent, so you get hold of five on the telephone to have that initial conversation. And from that conversation, you might get three meetings, and down the line, you might get one sale. So a typical sales process will start with 100 in at the top of the sales funnel, just to get you your one sale at the bottom. So if you know what those numbers are and you track them regularly, you can start looking at your performance. You can start to see which stages are not converting as well as other stages. And you might want to tweak your sales process or what you say to customers or how you present your marketing in order to make that stage um, convert more successfully. You can also start, if you've got a team, to compare the different people in the team. So you can work out who are your superstars and who are those that might need a little more help and support.